Welcome back everybody. Today I want to show you how to use Visual Engine for goal attainment or how to use continually uh, visualizing your goals and bring those goals into reality in a faster way, right? You know that pulses and have available to you virtual limited mental power and mental power, right? Many people are just unaware of this power and fail to use them for their goal attainment, right? Most of the time, right? That's why their results are just on average, right? So when you be just begin to tap into and unleash the power of your subconscious and superconscious mind, you'll often just achieve more, right? More and faster way, right? You start moving more rapidly towards your goals than you can currently imagine. Visuality is perhaps the most powerful, powerful faculty that it possesses. So all improvements in your life begins with the improvement in your mental picture, right? You are where you are and what you are doing largely because of the mental pictures that you are holding in your conscious mind at the present time, right? As you just change your mental picture on the inside, your world on the outside will begin to change, right? To correspond to those pictures, right? So visualization is just activates the law of attraction, right? Which draws into your life, the people, the circumstance, the situation, or the resource that just need to help just achieve your goal. That's the, the things they help you to achieve your goal in a faster way, right? Right? So visualization also just activates the law of correspondence, right? That means as within, so without. That means as you change your mental picture on the inside, you world it on the outside, lucky mirror begins to change, right? Just as you became what you think about most of the time, you became what you visualize most of the time as well, right? You have to take care of what you are visualizing because you became what you visualize, right? So the importance of vision, right? Having a vision, right? The most just common characteristics of most of the leaders are all levels throughout the age, they have just a vision, right? This means they, they, they can't just visualize and imagine an ideal future well in advance of its becoming a reality, right? See the success you desire, right? Successful people are those who just visualize in advance the kind of success they want to enjoy, right? Prepare to just, prior to just every new experience. The successful person just visualize previous success experience that are similar to the upcoming events, right? So as successful people are mostly just just visual the positive thing the success right but unsuccessful people are just visualized but for the determinant right unsuccessful people just prior to new event recall and reflect upon and visualize their previous failure experience right they think about the last time they failed or did poorly in this era right they just imagine failing again right as a result when they go to just an experience, their subconscious mind have been just programmed for failure rather than success, right? They, their results become failure, right? So you have to feed your mind with exciting image. That means your performance on the outside is always consistent with your self-image on the inside, right? So your self-image is made up of just the mental pictures that you feed into your mind prior to any event, right? So, and the good news is that you have a complete control over your meta picture for good or for ill, right? You can choose to feed your mind with positive, exciting, success image, or you can just, you can by default allow yourself to be preoccupied by failing or maybe fear or any failure image, right? You choose is up to you, right? You can choose. Almost everything that you have achieved in life or failed to achieve is the result of the use or misuse of your visualization, right? So if you just look back you will just find that most, of, almost everything you visualize positively eventually come true for you, right? You take control of your meta picture. You have been just using the power of visualization continually throughout your life, right? Your future, right? But the problem is that most people use visualization in a random and haphazard way, right? Sometimes to just hurt themselves and to sometimes to hurt themselves, right? Your goal should be just to take complex control of visualization process and just be sure that your mind and your mental image are focused continually on what you want to have and the person that you want to be, right? Right? You have to feed your or you have to just take the picture of positive thing into your meta picture, right? Change your meta picture, right? It says you control the molding and shaping of your own personality and character by the mental image that you just develop on. 
hour by hour and minute by minute, right? By changing your mental image, you change the way you think, feel, and act, right? You change the way you, that you treat other people and the way they respond to you, right? You, you, you can change your performance and your results, right? You can actually remark yourself in the image of very best person that you can imagine yourself becoming, right? So this is all the part of constructive use of visualization, right? You have to just imagine, right, the person that you want to be right, in the future, right? You have to act, feel, and you have to feel your mind, right? The person that you want to be, right? You have to perform in your best, right? Four parts of visualization, right? There are just four parts of visualization that you can learn and just practice to ensure that you just use this incredible power to its best advantage all the day of your life, right? You can use these four steps to to use your visual to make your visualization more stronger and to achieve your goal in faster way. The first one is how often, right? The first aspect of visualization is frequency. The number of times that you visualize a particular goal as achieved or yourself performing in an excellent way in a particular event or circumstance, right? So the more frequently you repeat a clear mental picture of your very best performance or result, the more appeal it will just accept it by your subconscious mind, right? And just the more ready it will be appear as a part of your reality, right? You have to visualize it rapidly. Uh, that means you have to use your visualization more often, right? More often, right? You have to repeat it. You have to increase the frequency, right? To, to bring uh, your goals into reality in a faster way, right? Second one is how long, right? right? Second element of visualization is the durations of mental image, right? The length of time that you just can hold the picture, right? In even just several minutes, right? So the longer you can hold your mental image or picture, the more people it will be just impressed, impressed into your subconscious mind, right? And then the more rapidly it will be expressed itself in your subconscious performance, right? Subsequent performance, right? That means you have to impress it more, more. You have to increase the pressure. You, you have to increase the duration, right, of visualization. The other one is how clearly you are visualizing, right? Third elements of visualization is vividness, right? Clearness, right? So there is a direct relationship between just how clearly you can see your desired goal or the result in your mind and how quickly it comes to your reality, right? So these elements of visualization is just what explains the power of law of attraction and the law of correspondence, right? So the vividness or clearness of your desire directly determines how quickly your goals materialize in the world around you, right? Here is an interesting point. When you just set a goal or just a new, complete new goal for yourself, your image or picture of this goal will just usually be value and fuzzy, right? So you may just have no idea at all what successful goal will be look like, right? But the more often you write it, rewrite it, review it, right? Whenever you repeat it mentally, the clearer it becomes for you, right? And so you have to, virtually, it will become crystal clear, right? At that point, just the goal will suddenly appear in your wallet, exactly as you imagine it, right? And you have to use this power. You have to make it vivid or clear enough, right? And also you have to make it reviewed again and again. If your goal is uh, new, completely new, you have to write it again and again, right? You have to write it. You have to repeat it again and again because you, after you repeat it, after you do this, after you write again and again, your subconscious mind brings or captures, right, clearly, right? The other one is how intensely, right? How intensely? The four elements of visualization intensity, right? the amount of emotion that you attach to your visual image. This is critical, right? Right? <laughs> Intensity is very, very, the emotional attachment, right? How much you are just emotionally attached to your goal. That's the interesting part, right? In reality, this is the most important and powerful part of visualization process. Sometimes you, if, you are, if your emotion is just intense enough and your visualization, this image is clear enough, your goal will be just immediately come true, right? So your goal should be just clear enough and you have to have just a burning desire. You have to be just in, 
increase intensity or right you have to attach emotions within your goal right this is a very interesting part and also the other one is you have to understand nature is neutral that means of course the elements of frequency duration vividness and intensity just can't help you or maybe hurt you right like in nature the power of visualization is neutral it can either make you successful or make you fail right <laughs> so visualization brings you whatever you vividly or clearly and intensely imagine whether good or bad right you have to take care right for example war is a form of negative goal setting right it is a process of thinking about imagining and visualizing with fear and anxiety exactly what you don't want to happen right when you just worry you are using visualization in a negative way right exactly those problems that you don't want will be attracted into your life into your reality right so the thing which you greatly fear has come to you faster way right so this refers to unhappy consequence of negative visualization right so you must be very careful how you use your visualization power because if you are using it in a negative way it will distract you it will make you fail right you have to use it in a constructive way your visualization right that's why most of the time you have to avoid your negative thought right